I've got to self-isolate when I get home. So what does that actually mean to you, self-isolating? Horror. I've got mental health issues as well and I joined this centre because I was suicidal. Yeah. So. It's an unbelievable time, isn't it? It's um, never seen before, is it? Yeah. They say it's worse than war. My name is George Ballard and uh, I am an explorer and adventurer. Uh, I spent a long time in isolation in some of the world's most spectacular wildernesses. I just thought I'd bring you some uh, handy hints and tips from what it's like living in the wilderness in isolation and how we can maybe use that in our lives today. We're now on the pathway to uh, not really seeing people, not really interacting with people. So I think we could all be really doom and gloom about the, the, the about the, the, the current situation, but let's, let's just try and switch that on its head and become a little more positive. Now, of course, for me, I, I, this is, uh, I've done many times like this before of going into the facing isolation so I understand it more uh, and I understand the risks and also the, the sense of fear and the sense of trepidation that I have before I set out on an expedition. 